and welcome to today's vlog. In today's video, I'm actually going to be packing for our first family holiday. We are traveling down to Queenstown, which is in the South Island of New Zealand. We live up north in Auckland and we are traveling for four days. It is the first time that we're traveling with our baby boy who is five months old. So super exciting, super nerve wracking. But yeah, that is what I need today. Today, Charlie is currently napping. So I'm going to try and get this done throughout his nap. They only last 30-ish minutes. So <laughs> fingers crossed he doesn't wake up. I've gone into his room. I've grabbed out a couple of options of clothes. I'm going to talk through everything I'm bringing, why I'm bringing it. First things first. So his flight ticket was free and he gets a free 7kg carry-on. We get a free 7kg carry-on. We haven't booked a checked-in luggage because we're only going for four days and I think with three 7kgs we should be okay. And we also get to take his stroller for free and his car seat for free. So that is really good. We're going to be taking both of those but what I'm going to be putting all his stuff in is just this simple little blue uh, suitcase. And then I'm also going to be traveling with his diaper bag. That's going to be my handbag. So hopefully I can slide on with that. Also, I don't think I've mentioned this, but we are traveling to Queenstown, which is a lot colder than where we live in Auckland. So I'm going to be bringing mostly warm stuff. And I should check the weather forecast. So Queenstown weather. Mm, not looking so good. So we get down on Saturday. There's going to be showers. It's going to be a high of 14 and a low of 7. So 7 is pretty cold and even though 14 is kind of like warm enough, it's very fresh down there. It's a lot different to what we're used to. So that's why I want to bring warm stuff. On Sunday it is sun with scattered showers, high of 14, low of 6. And Monday is partly cloudy. So that's right. We can do with that. No biggies. So I have bought three long sleeve onesies. And I have four short sleeve onesies. This one is a 100% wool. So this is going to be a really warm one. And then I bought singlets just because I can put those under anything. It can keep his tummy nice and warm. So I'm going to take four of those. In regards to his bottoms, I have four pairs of pants. They're all super warm. They have, like some of them have little feet bits at the bottom. So that will keep him nice and warm. So that is just for day outfit. I also have one short sleeve day outfit just in case. It's just got like the shorts attached like a onesie. And I'm bringing that just in case it does get super duper hot. For jumpers, I am bringing two jumpers. I've got a lighter one and a warmer one. This one's so cute. It's got little ears on top of the hood. We are then going to be going out for some fancy dinners because we are traveling for my birthday weekend. How exciting. I am turning 25. <laughs> Halfway to 50. But it's so exciting. I'm so excited that we get to travel on my birthday soon. Super, super grateful that New Zealand is all good right now and we get to travel. So for dinners, I have taken two fancier outfits, just something cute but also warm. So I've got like a little pair of jeans and a little buttoned up shirt for him. So cute. I then have this overalls little outfit which has the matching top. So cute. Like this. So that's two outfits. And then I have this outfit which is probably just for the day. But I just found it the other day in an op shop. And I am obsessed. Look at it. It's so nice. It is 100% cotton. So I would put something underneath that. Just because it's like a little bit. I don't know if you can tell. Like a little bit holy. And I don't want the air to go through and keep him cold. But it's so nice. I think it will look super cute. That is all the clothes that I have. Two nights outfits. Four outfits for the day plenty of spare clothes i'm then going to be bringing this bear onesie that is mostly for like mornings if we go do a morning walk we're going to go visit wanaka lake which is really close to queenstown beautiful lake very fresh very cold over there and it's got little mittens so it'll keep them warm it's got feet bits it's got a hood so this is just like for the seven degree wake ups. This is what he'll be wearing. I am also bringing his swimming togs and a little sun hat. We have a pool in the hotel that we're staying at. Oh my God, also talking about hotels, I am so nervous because he is still waking up every two hours during the night and he wakes up crying at the moment. He used to like wake up and be like, eh, eh, eh. Now he's waking up 
fully crying so I'm so nervous that we're gonna get kicked out of the hotel like is that even possible can they actually kick us out but I have bought his swimming togs because there is a pool there we also have our own private spa so if we can change the temperature then I will drop it down and put him in there because he loves 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 the water so I have his swimming togs and a towel we will have towels as well at the hotel but I just thought I'd bring one of his towels if I have space in the suitcase I have one two three four five pairs of socks probably only need four but oh well I got two pairs of mittens and one pair of booties oh for shoes I have his slippers they're little bunnies love these ones and then I have these ones look at these shoes that I have found they're little Ralph Lauren I got them for three dollars at an op shop they're so cute they're a little bit big on him still but it's okay he needs to wear them for our fancy dinners the last couple of clothes things that I am bringing is beanies I got us matching beanies so cute Dude, I have to show you guys what we look like. I might insert a clip if I remember of what we look like with these on. And for his pajamas, he's got two merino pajamas. I'm going to be bringing both of those. One of them he's actually going to be wearing while we travel to the airport. We are traveling at five in the morning, I think, or like 4.30, something crazy like that. So he needs to be warm. I'm just going to keep him in his pajamas and then put him in this sleep sack. Um, this one obviously I'm bringing because it's got the hole for the seat belt so I can use this on the pram I can use this in the car seat the first time I saw these I thought it was to like change the nappy or something I don't know what it was but no it's for the seat belt so little tip for you there and then when we get to the airport and he's woken up I have a little outfit that I will changing him, which is just a little matching rack suit. The last couple things that I have in regards to like attire is two bibs, because he has started to dribble a lot more. I just have like a little rag, which I use as a burp cloth. I am then bringing a little face towel for him, as well as some John Johnson's baby bath. So the little travel version, and then I am bringing a little lotion. I am also gonna be bringing our baby monitor, and that is because, like I mentioned, we have our own private spa. So if we're in there, he can be having a nap inside, and I don't have to leave the door open, and then he might get cold. So I can just chuck the monitor on. Last couple things is I am gonna be bringing my pump. I'm gonna try to fit that in the suitcase. Hopefully it will. I've actually just bought a new electric pump so if you watched any of my videos before I have only had a hand pump and it worked fine but long story short I've been losing my supply because we haven't been sleeping so my body's obviously super super tired so I've just bought a new electric pump it is the milk bar pump in New Zealand I've had it for about a week so I can't say too much about it but so far I'm really enjoying it that is the monitor and then you hook it up to the pump. I just got the single one, you can get double singles. Last thing for the suitcase that I'm putting in is a book. We are gonna try and keep a night routine as best as possible so that he can sleep. But yeah, that is everything I wanna put in the suitcase. I'm gonna see if it fits. regards to his diaper bag I am bringing my Miss Fong diaper bag I have the usual like nappy cream my hand cream a little face towel over here clipped on my little key thing I have his favorite chewing toy I'm gonna to be bringing his comforter which has the little chewing toy he loves that he is chewing on that as well in regards to diapers I am not bringing any reusable diapers we're just gonna do disposable ones I have a pack here that I've already used a couple and I'm probably just gonna put like five maybe six in this bag and then the rest I'm gonna buy when we get down there I've got just our usual swaddle that I absolutely love I will have one pack of wipes and then I will bring his favorite toys at the moment he still loves his little lion I just bought this from Kmart 
and he loves it because he can grab it with his fingers so I'm gonna bring both of those I will also then bring his spare outfit and sleeping bag that I mentioned before and that will be in his diaper bag so that is the end of this video guys I hope you've enjoyed watching what I packed for my five months old baby boy thanks for watching this video if you did like this video please give it a thumbs up because that really supports my channel and I'll see you all in my next one bye